stream land below. Um, I want to welcome everybody and thanks for coming today, especially for um, especially to the Newtown Art Gallery here in Williamsburg for letting us use their space and bring us in here. We have, uh, we've done a couple of other meetings here as part of the Plays in Progress series. So if you're not familiar with that, about once a month we have uh, a reading that goes and puts on a reading of a new play uh, to get audience feedback from it. Uh, right here, what it's going to, uh, how it sounds, uh, what it looks like, and you can get comments from the audience afterwards about what you thought about it. As a matter of fact, right here on this chair, there are some, there's a slip of paper with some questions that we will ask at the end of the play if you care to have any feedback about that. Some of the pens work, some of the ones don't, so make sure your pen works. And uh, so after the play, we'll do a little feedback session. Andrew Kramer, the playwright's going to be Skyping in for that part, and uh, so that will be um, right. right, and also there, oh, folks, come on in. Also, here's a slip of paper that says, uh, Ask me to roar like a lion, roar. And if you take that slip of paper and leave this particular reading and go over to the library this afternoon at 2 o'clock, where we will have a production of Screen Queens, you will get into that production for half off if you show them that and do the roar. So, welcome. Okay. Um, yeah, Scream Queens is today at the library. Um, we also will be doing Woman in Black in October at the library. And we'll also be producing that show as well. So come back for that. All right. Please silence your phones if you haven't done so already. And just to let you know, we are streaming live online, so the microphone picks up everything. And for those of you in Streamland out there, if you're hearing a hum, that is the air conditioner. We can do nothing about that. Our comfort is more important. <laughs> That's all there is to that. Just the, so if you say me, you whisper it's going to be picked up right on that mic, so just for you to know that. Great. Right. Crying for Lions by Andrew Kramer. Crying for Lions was developed under the Ingram New Works Lab at Tennessee, Repertory Theater in Nashville, Tennessee. It received staged readings as part of the Ingram New Works Festival in June 2012. It was directed by Lauren Schutz. Further development in October 2012 with Cleveland Public Theater under their Springboard New Play Reading Series. It was directed by Jeremy Lewis. The play also had development at New York Theater Workshop, New George and New George's, New George's, I don't know how to pronounce that, and NYU under director Girona Yusada.
themselves never think about them. They are insensible to the wonders of inanimate nature, and they may be said not to perceive the mighty forests that surround them till they fall beneath the hatchet. Alexis Tocqueville. Prologue in the Woods. A soft light in some dark forest out of real time or space, raised there among the trees. When faced with a wild animal, may they say not to run. Your job is to protect your head, your skull, your vital organs. Crawl into the fetal position or stand your ground. Whatever the beast may be, don't turn your back initiate the chase. Don't turn and run. In the distance, there is the loud, echoing cry of the cougar. A soft light uncovers lions in the same dark forest. Catamount. Puma. Mountain screamer. Mountain lion. The cougar has over 40 names due to its wide distribution all over the world. These large cats arrived 50 million years ago just after dinosaurs and large reptiles. They punctuated their arrival with high mammal metabolism, needing 10 times more food than their reptilian predecessors. The moon appears like the eye of a cougar in the darkness, revealing shame. The advanced musculature of the mountain lion developed so quickly that nothing the cat encountered could compete. When the cougar couldn't find standard sources of food, the predator ate its own kind. The woods around them begin to move. There's something large, swiftly moving, circling about, stalking. Lights of an alliance, the Shane and Ray, pass through the forest and into Saturday in the new old house. Their new house that looks very old with the kitschy heirloom remnants of a large family den. There's a large bay window that overlooks an expanse of land populated by forest trees and high golden grass. It is evening. They've recently moved in, and Shane comes and goes, bringing boxes in and out of the room. Ray is sorting the contents. He's sweating because he's working hard. She's sweating because she's pregnant. How often do you see all your shit in one place, like this? Like, like packed in boxes in one room. It makes it seem like so much shit, you know? Hello? Ray? Ray? You okay? I'm talking to you. Oh, sorry, yeah, fine. I'm just daydreaming. Evening dreaming. Oh, yeah? What was it about me? It was about the wood. I want 
Jesus, emerge from the womb, safely of course, but quickly piles of money, you immovable little stubby fingers. Y'all got that? Yeah. yeah. You, got you got that, baby? That, that way, maybe you, you and mommy and daddy, daddy won't have to live off a shitty teacher's salary while daddy strays from the work he should be doing to pursue some new project he's not interested in. Hallowed be thy name. Start getting all pregnant crazy on me. I'm not pregnant crazy. I'm giving our baby a preview of the bleak world it's going to soon inhabit. Whoa, calm down, Granny. You're anxious. You're sweaty. You're not acting like Ray. I am totally acting like Ray. A different form of Ray. And you'd better get used to it. This little baby is doing weird stuff to my body, making me panic about things. Sending images through my mind. And you're scared of the trees outside. No. I mean it. I get like images zapped from belly to brain. Like what? I'll be teaching and I'll just like see this image kind of hovering before me, but see through, um, incandescent. Sprawling, discolored birthmark on our baby's back in the shape of wild animals. Seriously. Like, like from just above the butt to the mid-back. Huge. They'll be insecure about it at first, but we'll convince them it's a very special birthmark that only very special children get. <laughs> also, it's going to have your hair but my eyes. We should find out the baby's sex. Come here. He grabs a box and opens it, pulling out a pack of playing cards. Stop thinking about baby hallucinations, the new house, take your mind off everything, and you can leave later. He starts to deal the cards into two piles. Want to go? Okay. But I always win. Not true. Okay. Sort of true. every 
don't want that to go to waste. Please. What else do you know? I know that we're going to make this a beautiful home. Yeah, it'll be pretty. No, it will be beautiful.
what you've come here for? Jesus. Pray, stop. Lions, I haven't studied the Eastern Cougar for years. Uh, what's happened to you? It's only been four years. Four years since you graduated, and I've not taught a more brilliant student since. You, you haven't even read the Declaration. No. What does it say? A consensus exists among wildlife officials in 21 eastern states that the eastern cougar has been extirpated from the eastern United States. Based on? Based on thorough research, or what they're calling thorough research, on the lack of a native breeding population. That's always been a concern. Well, now they've concluded that the eastern cougar is extinct, possibly since the 1930s. Have you ever heard a more sleeping pile of bullshit in all your life? Extinct? Don't you think you should put a little more trust in an established national office? What? No. no. They're bureaucratic assholes. What do they know? I could bring you over 200 people who have heard the cries of the cougar, 100 more who have seen it. All of this in the last five to 10 years. The eastern cougar is not extinct, not by a long shot. And I'm going to prove it. And I want your help. By doing what exactly? You have to spend a little time outside. It takes time and patience. Cougars are called the ghost cat for a reason. This, this isn't really about some declaration. And why are you here? I don't, I don't expect you to understand, but Shane, you've seen it. That body, that tail, its sleek elegance, unparalleled. They're the only animal in the United States that could live and thrive in all 50 states, exist in all places at once, regardless of the adverse conditions. If it's true, We'll feel the effects of its extinction, especially here. Yes, we would. Really? We would? The loss of a top-level predator like the cougar could have devastating ecological consequences. An explosion in deer population, forests unable to regenerate. Just a few of the many problems that could become of this. This isn't just about some declaration. It's about life, about living and existing and seeing something we've once had slip through our grasps. Animals and people die. You're not understanding. This, this creature was once breathing and thriving in this country long, long before us, regulating an entire ecosystem by its mere existence. And now it has said no, no longer exists. There's a crash, commotion outside as a large shadowed shape moves past the window. Ray sees it and screams. Oh, 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 do you have a broom? I'll, I'll clean it up. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I'll get it. I got a guy scared, too. I'll, I'll go check it out. No. You, you stay here. Send lions. Uh, it's fine. I'll go. Shane. Send lions. Yes. I'll go. You can't take it. He goes. Shane starts to clean the glass.
She starts off to another room, but stops as Lyons returns. Our garbage cans were knocked over. The wood pile near the house was messed up, but I didn't see anything. There's some interesting tracks near the house, though. Did you get a look if I pass by? Not, not good enough to distinguish it as anything. What sort of interesting tracks? I don't know, to be honest. They look like the tracks of a mountain lion. Shane, deal with this. She exits to another room. Lions and Shane remain. Lights fade. Sunday night. It's dark, the lights are turned down soft. Ray sits, poring over books and papers. She's working hard. There's a steaming plate of something on the table before her. Shane enters, sleeping. What is it tonight? Chicken breast, steak, bacon strips, and never enough ketchup? Don't, don't ask. Don't go late. What time is it? Late. What's up? You, you obviously. Couldn't, couldn't sleep? No. no. I heard your teeth clinking against the silverware. <laughs> she came to check on you. I'm okay. Happy Shane because you were doing the work that you love. 
to ignite your passion in something, not happy shaming your clients around. Ray, Ray, if something were to come out of this study, it could be big, like, like really big. big. And right now, that's very, very appealing. I, I love you a lot. A lot.
When you hear so much about something, its arrival seems inevitable. What do you want?
on me? My what? No, no. I, I have my own work to do. Can I stop in both my thoughts up? Take a hiatus. Help me, help me find the cougar. I, I've been given three a three year grant, a supplicating annual review board. If I take time off, it shows. And last year they were less than impressed. I need to get rid of all distractions and get to work. Okay, Shane. Do you want me to leave? Because I will leave if you really want me to. Researching the effects of invasive wildlife on established natural areas and the role sanitary trade policies play in the containment of the invasive. Not, not a subject that really keeps my blood pumping. And you shouldn't be here. It's nice seeing you. Really? It's great. But Ray hates it. And I hate it because she hates it. And I don't think you should stay.
that yet. Thank you. 
get pregnant? I'm getting, I'm getting freaked pregnant. out here. You're but not you're not acting like yourself. Stop! I am. Then, then what do you realize? We're going to have a boy, Shane. And I, and I just don't. Don't. I don't want a deficient child. I don't, I don't want my child to be confused. I don't want my child to be you, Shane. Sun is 
setting in Lion's Camp. Hanging from a rope line are photos of various animal paw prints, teeth, skulls. Lions has a notebook examining the photos. Shake approaches. Handling in. Good job. Good job. What, are these? what are these? Photos have snapped in the past on previous outings. Puma concolor noir, as opposed to the variative species, taxonomic classification, Puma concolor coriae. Reload to the bottom of the pad, teardrop shaped toes. The cougars will see in the environment will be different in their demeanor. You'll see it in their eyes. They're a bit more wild, unhinged. I have my camera set up around the tent. If there's any commotion in the trees, it'll be picked up. Lions. You don't miss this? I, I don't. Just pack up. Leave your life behind and come here. You're easier than you know. I don't have anyone. I canceled my classes due to a field study trip. I dedicated my life to studying this animal. I feel a fondness for it. A love for it. And it's been declared extinct. I can't even comprehend it. I feel an obligation. Myself. The sun is set. It becomes a darker evening. Lights fade to the smell of blood. Ray, still with the cougar, inside the house. I don't, I don't like you here. You make, you make noises. You push, you push open, open the windows. Break you break things. things. Go, out, go outside. outside. Wild, wild and violent, violent unable to be tamed. You don't belong in a house.
information against me. Do you hear me? Excuse me? Some fucked up world I thought that you'd be able to help it. Just don't use it against me. Not everyone prowls the world seeking a fight. Then why did you come here? Why did you come here? Really? You need to go inside, Ray. You can't be dealing with all this on top of your expanding uterus. I worry! I know you do. Chasing the cougar in the night. You check his scent, you check his cave. Unprepared for the coming fight. You tell yourself you'll find him now. Lingering on the margins of the wild. Return on home and what you'll find is feasted on your child. Oh. If you're really seeing the eastern cougar, you need to be careful. And you need to have something to prove it. I have the certainty of my vision. That's not enough. You'll need proof. I'll get you more than that. Ray leaves the tent, but remains in the woods. A meeting in the woods. It's dark. 
winds blowing, the eastern cougar breathes and cries out ferociously. Come here, right here in front of me, and put your paws out. The eastern cougar approaches and stands its distance. Right here, right here in front of me, bow down. The eastern cougar stares at Ray, but doesn't bow. I want you to eat Shane. <laughs> Find him, attack him. I will be a mother without him, a good mother. I'm not hungry yet. He tastes sweet. You'll like the taste. That's not what you want. Want can be sniffed. He loves women. He loves men. That's everyone. How am I supposed to compete with that? Shane's faithful to you. I know. For now. And he does that thing when he smiles. And he has those hands. And he's going to be a great father. And you know all of these things. I know all of these things. What?
himself into the trees, searching for the baby. Recovery. A light from inside the tent goes on, revealing lions and Shane's shadows. What did she say? She'll be fine. She should sleep before she says too much to a stranger for a second time. Did she talk about her mother? She spoke of things. Yes. I worry. So does she. Not about that. Ray's not like that. I know her. Well, then what are you worried about? What if the kid's not enough? I can feel it in every muscle, every piece of me that I want this child, and I want to raise this child and live in this world with Ray by my side. But what if that's not enough? It probably won't be. You think that? Your cock routinely took up occupancy in my mouth. Of course I think that. Fuck you. Your mouth was hardly the reason I loved you. You were the only one. You were it. The exception to the rule. There have been no others, so stop acting like you know some great big secret about me. I love you, Lions. A lot. I felt things with you, and I loved that. You made my mind throb. You showed me new things. Opened the world in a new way to me. The physical followed. Does Ray know about the child? Lions don't. So she doesn't know? No, not about that, and I don't think she should. Why? She knows about everything else, though. Yes, of course. I've never kept information from her. Except this. Except this, right. Every time I think about the extinction of the Eastern Cooper, I think of that child, and the future of my life, and the future of your life. Extinction. Listen to the word and see how it slips out of the mouth. A cock back of the tongue, a knock of the teeth, a harsh slide. We sat down together and discussed adopting a child. Seriously discussed it. I know. Do you? Do you really know? Because you'll have children. You have one on the way. Do I? I want things, Lions. Things that I'm getting. And that you'd never be able to give me. Like a what? And a child? And a house and things that I can say, this is mine too. I love Ray more than I've ever loved anyone. Who was I? I want different things, Lines. Things that I can't have with you. Nice, traditional things. The way my parents live. The way I want to live. The way I want my children to live. Traditional. You're young and unmarried and expecting a baby. How traditional is that? She comes from murderous blood. She thinks she's seeing the Eastern Cougar. What about this makes you think this is a good idea? I'm trusting the pumping in my gut, my intuition, that thing that keeps me up at night. Why did you do that? Did you feel it? No, I didn't. They stand looking at each other. The moon grows brighter, revealing Ray outside the tent. Her hands still bloody. I have proof. The proof of what? Are you okay? What's with the blood? It's cougar blood. You should know that. Here. This is his fang. The three stand, illuminated by the moon, the fang attracting the light. The pelage of the cougar has a coarse texture. His coloration ranges from a yellowish brown to grayish brown on the upper parts, a lighter, almost buffy color on the belly. The throat and chest are white when not stained with blood. The eyes are mature, grayish brown to golden, like Shane's. The pollux is small, set apart from the other digits. The forehead region is regal with an arched dignity. The dental formula is 3 over 3, 1 over 1, 3 over 2, 1 over 1. The mandible is short, deep, and powerfully constructed. The carnassial teeth are massive and long. The canines are heavy and compressed. The incisors are small and straight. The mountain lion has one more small premolar on each side of the upper jaw than has the bobcat and the lynx. The bloody fang has stained all their hands. They stand in the trees, huddled together, each with a hand on a large fang. In the 
distance, there's a loud, echoing cry of the eastern cougar. Shane lets go of the fang and looks at the blood on his hands. He steps away and looks to lions and ray. Suddenly, he runs off deep into the trees. Blackout immediately voices in the darkness. Shane!
Ray. Ray, where are you? What if you never see her again? <laughs> the Eastern Cougars laugh, echoes in the dark. Shane grabs a lantern from the tent and lights it. You've been missing Ray. You're the one, aren't you?
happened to Achilles and Patrick? Transcribe. 
transplants give the world something, a new person that will contribute to make it better. You're forgetting about all these things. This way. That was shame.
thank you for doing this for me. It's easier this way. His name is Mason, and he was my son. The Eastern Cougar approaches the baby. It sniffs long and deep. The baby turns away. The Eastern Cougar lowers its head, opens its jaws, and... Stop! The Eastern Cougar looks up at lions. Ray, listen to me. The Cougar. It's here, right beside you. Behind you. Run. Run, Run as fast as you can. It'll, It'll focus on me. Mason, my son, he... The baby is gone. No longer in front of the cat. Ray, Ray run. run. Protect your stomach as you go. But run. And run fast. When you're faced with a wild animal, they tell you not to run. Go! Ray takes off into the trees. Lions charges the cougar, who cries out loud, stopping lions. It's a standoff. They circle to each other. And the lights fade. Ray is running through the trees. She stops and hides behind a tree, out of breath. Behind her, there's a slow dragging. Shame comes into the light, bloody, bruised, hurt. Help! Help me! Go away! Ray, the cougar, in a pang, I'm in blood. Go away! Leave me alone! Shame makes his way to Ray. Oh my God! Darkness and I dropped it. Where am I? Don't talk, just stay here with me. You'll be okay. Are there any deep wounds? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Lions, he's with the cougar. Where? Lions? I, I, I don't know. Shh, man. Shh. Don't talk. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Please be okay. I'm lost. Everything looked the same. All the trees, blood, and the moon. I was lost. Why did you run off? Where did you go? I went off to find something. What? I found, I, I found it. I, I never saw you again. Don't, Don't talk. talk. I need you to be okay. We'll be, we'll be fine. fine. Just, can you stand? We need to get out of here. We need to get back to the house. I can stand. Come on, I'll help you up. We have to hurry, but be quiet. She helps him up. He's hurt, but he's able to move on his own. The baby, is it? Yes, it's safe. We have a responsibility, Shane, you and I, to pass ourselves on to another body. Transference. Give the world something, a new person that will contribute and make it better. Somewhere off, near in the distance, is the cry of the eastern cougar. Did you hear that? This way it sounded like... No, Shane, we need to get out of here for us. The baby. Yes. The, the baby for us belongs this way. They go off into the trees. The great hunt. Lions and the eastern cougar are facing each other. Still. Oh my god. Oh my god. You. You. You're beautiful. You think I'm as beautiful in person as in your mind. Even more beautiful in person. You traveled a long way for me. I've dedicated life to you. I knew it. I knew you weren't dead. I knew you weren't gone. Oh, I'll never be gone, the ghost cat. One day, we will be gone. We all will. You will. You'll be gone soon. Your parents should have, shouldn't have had you. They gave you a weak heart. Weak genes. Things. 
I wanted to affect some, something, some part of the world. I wanted to teach a child things, things a father teaches his child. I wanted to walk down the street holding their hand and have people look on and know that that is my child because it looks like me. But you're doing it with her. And when the baby's born, you will have it all, everything you ever wanted. What do I have? I have nothing. This world is meant for parents and for children. And I'm no one's parent. And I'm no longer a child. I can't even salvage you who I've chased for so long. I saw you. Even if the world doesn't know, even if you evade them, I found you. And that's something. Lions starts to have a heart attack. We hear the sound of a faltering heart in the distance. Pump, falter, pump, falter, pump. Stop. Slowly, as if all is being dismantled. 